Hello and welcome to Let Me Bore You to Sleep Sunday Papers No, Sunday's Is it Sun <laughs> Sunday Newspapers or Sunday's Newspapers? One of them. Do you want a bone? There you go then, Truffle. Oh, that was a weird noise. So welcome, um, my name is Jason Newland, my website's jasonnewland.com. It's almost becoming a website. It's almost becoming useful. I'll tell you, I'll tell you about that in a second. Uh, please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. So, I want to do me thank yous like I do. Uh, first of all, I want to just say a big thank you to everybody that's listening. Because without you listening, there'd be no point me doing this. Um, I could go even further, w without you listening, there wouldn't be much point to me these days. This is kind of my, this is what I get out of bed for. I mean, I haven't just got out of bed to do this. I'm not quite that lazy, considering it's half past six in the evening. But this is, this is my, my purpose. This is my my reason, my, I don't know, I forget, what's, what's the proper word, what's that third, um, yeah, this is, this is what, why I do what I do, for you, I mean, I, to be fair, I probably would still, I'd still be sitting here talking to myself, even if no one listened, but, you know, if, if I suddenly just had a few hundred people listening, I would, I don't know, I, I might, yeah, I might get a little bit disgruntled, so it's lovely that, you know, I've got the people listening that I do, and I do, to be honest, I know this might sound insincere, right, I've got the best audience, I really have, no, this might, <laughs> this might sound insincere, but I'm, I'm seriously, I do believe I do have the best audience, like of anyone and I mean of anyone I don't think any podcast any podcaster whatever you want to call me let's say for this let me boy to sleep it's a podcast so I don't think anybody's got a better audience than me there's so much kindness and lovely people so yeah what am I doing I'm trying to get out of this I'm trying to trying to close okay i'm trying to open up the readly app so i can do the papers so yeah thank you i need to say another thank you to <laughs> mary jennifer and heath thank you for your paypal gifts Really, very much appreciated. Thank you. Um, I've contacted two, so I need to contact the other person. You know, per, uh, personally say thank you. So, just wanted to publicly say thank you. I didn't do a recording yesterday because it was boxing from three o'clock till about eleven, and or eleven thirty. After I'm not sure. And no, 11, I think it was 11, 10, 30, 11. So I am, yeah, I was a bit tired and, you know, I was kind of planning to do something, but what I've noticed, and I need to kind of probably address this at some point, is now that I've started naming days, okay, I wasn't. Okay, I've not named days because the days are already named. 
But, you know, given a particular recording for a particular day, such as today, Sunday newspapers, Monday's boring objects, Tuesday, Trivia Tuesday, and Wednesday, Whisper. I can't even remember what Thursday was. What was Thursday, people? <laughs> any, any, does anyone remember? I don't remember. I can't remember. What was Thursday? Let's have a look. Thursday. What was Thursday? Thursday. It's really weird. The uh, Get less people listening at the weekend than during the week. So Thursday, Healing Thursday. How could I forget that? Healing Thursday. And now I've got a big... Oh, sorry, mate. I'm angry with Vinny at the moment. We've just been out for a walk. I'm just cleaning my glasses. We've just been out for a walk, and he was off the lead playing with his friend Archie. So I'm there talking to Archie's mum, and we're just having a nice little conversation. And she looks over to the entrance. I thought Vinny had, like, was running away again. So I thought, ooh. But he wasn't. He was going over to see a dog that was just walking into the park. Now, I took attention. I made it, you know, got my attention because I know that I have to watch him because he's just a little bit temperamental sometimes. But. On this occasion, no Vinny, come on mate. There's no reason to be barking. There's no reason for me to make this much noise. This is me cleaning the glasses. Oh. Right, done. <laughs> I bet you're wondering, what was I cleaning the glasses with? Well, whatever I did, it made them all smudgy. It's made them worse than before. I'd actually be better if I just... Oh, I had this weirdest dream last night. Anyway. Um, yeah, he went for the dog. It wasn't a big dog either. It was bigger than him, most dogs are. But he was like, really, like, aggressive. So I shout at him, and he lays down, and I get him, put him in the lead. I apologise to the people. It's just, like, embarrassing. But I just felt for the dog, because the dog was looking, looked upset. And like, I just I just wanted to give the, the other dog a big cuddle. Because it didn't deserve, he or she didn't deserve to be yelled at like he did. And it's like, and it was, yeah, I'm not going to be able to let him off the lead anymore. It's such a shame. Because he goes, he, he's so temperamental. Some days he's fine. Other days he's not so fine. But on the same side, he's actually getting more, he's getting better behaved with me. So when I say lay down, he lays down. When I say stay, he stays now. If I say it in the right way. Yeah, I might have to say it 15 times, but eventually he listens. If I say it, I have to say it once in the correct way and he listens. Um, but I don't, I'm not really a shouter, just generally in life, I'm not a shouter. I have to take care of my silky vocal cords. Ah. However, he was with a dog off the lead two weeks ago, I think it was. And they both ran out of the park towards the main road. He's never done that before. Like, he, he, I think he basically said to the other dog, come on, let's go to the sweet shop. Which is across two roads. One road which isn't particularly busy, but you know, you never know. The other one is a very busy road, which leads to a motorway. And it's quite a distance. I just got to tell you this. There's a... There's like a whole separate like parky bit between the park and that road. And I shouted at him and he stopped 
and the other dog stopped and they both came back the other dog came all the way back to his owner Vinny came back and then hid in the grass <laughs> like some long grass and he just laid down there and didn't move but, so I don't know what kind of vibe I gave off but I was so concerned ah <sighs> I don't like shouting I'm not I can shout that's the weird thing about it I mean you, you know if you if you grow up with three brothers you kind of have to learn to speak loudly sometimes but I'm not a shouter I'm not really I'm a calm chilled most of the time person it's quite weird because I was the same kind of thing I said uh I was saying to this lady, I think Friday, maybe it was Saturday, about Vinny, I said, well, he can be a little bit, you know, he's saying hello to this dog. He was on the lead, and I said, he's, he can be a bit temperamental. She said, really? I said, yeah, he uh, must take after me. And she said, oh, I just have a mood. I said, yeah, it takes after me. He's moody. And she said to me, well, you, be, you seem so nice. Well... <laughs> Yeah, I was still. I said I'm not. A, I'm I'm clinically moody, but I'm not. I'm not a, doesn't mean I'm a bad bad person. You know, I, I don't. I don't go out shouting at people, and I know there are people that do do that. I don't go out causing trouble or whatever. I just. It's. Some people, don't. They don't know they. they I think if you was going to ask people what I'm like, apart from being super sexy, they would probably say is friendly. Probably, like the locals, I mean. They'd probably say I'm a fairly friendly person. And they wouldn't imagine that maybe I ever get weird, <laughs> you know, um, or moody or whatever. But I don't take that. I don't... I. I leave that inside. I don't, or I stay inside when I'm like that. But if I have to take him out, I leave it inside the same as I leave my wallet. Or I leave my phone. Or whatever else I leave inside. I just leave it there. Leave it in here. I go out. If I know I'm not, can't really talk to people, I just keep away from people. But you know it's only for like ten minutes, so I can I can manage it. Or I take him in the garden, in it. Really surprised a, a neighbour, someone that I got quite close to since my friend passed away downstairs. She was friends of him. I was friends of him. It's Finney's mum, and we kind of just we helped each other helped each other, helped each other a little bit through through that period, and she called me up one day and I wasn't in a in a particularly good mood and she couldn't believe it but at first when I said to her I'm not in a good mood and I said I have to speak to you a different time you know and, and she, she's tried to have a conversation with me while I was like that and even though I wasn't I wasn't rude I wasn't I know I wasn't but it to her it felt like I was being rude even though I wasn't, if, does that make sense? I wasn't being, I was just being honest, but not horrible. I was just, I suppose, cold, cold. And it really threw her off. Even though I told her that I could be like that, and even though I told her beforehand, like right straight away, this is how I am. It's not, <laughs> and I, it's just one of those days. One of those days. And, uh, yeah, why am I telling you this? I make myself look really bad, don't I? But, yeah, that's why I'm on medication. Oh, yes, it's my disability, being a moody old git. So, thanks for listening. <laughs> right, so what, what are we... 
What are we grateful for, ladies and gents? What are we grateful for today? Okay, wow. I didn't think this through. I don't think through what I'm going to say. Perhaps I should. Uh, what am I grateful for? I don't want to keep saying you, the listeners, but that is quite often a thing that gets me through. The you know the the support and stuff. So anyway, so what am I grateful for? I am grateful for Should be this complicated, should it? What are you grateful for? I'll let you think of something while I try and think of something. What am I grateful for? Well, I'm actually looking forward. So I, I say boxing. I was grateful for yesterday's boxing, and I'm grateful for that I've got something to look forward to. I mean, generally, not just the boxing, because we've got two three or two really big events coming up one in October one in December there's others as well but these particular two big nights I'm also looking forward to Big Brother starting in October I'm looking forward to eventually getting to watch the new Deadpool movie I am looking forward to starting my university course so yeah there's a few things I'm looking forward to which will be coming up soon in the next you know between now and the end of the year so with the boxing there's more than just two events but two big 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 ones and then there's others as well so it's there's lots lots to look forward to with the boxing and yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Another thing I'm looking forward to is I'm I'm grateful for. In a way, I feel quite grateful for the for the health stuff. It might sound weird, but getting that warning of my high blood sugar level. I'm grateful that I got that because it 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 caused me to make some changes. There's still a, there's still quite a fair bit to go, you know. But I've you know lost a fair bit of weight. I've reduced my sugar level down to a good level. Uh, everything you know. So this I still got the high cholesterol, so I need to work on that. So that's that's more of a diet thing, diet and exercise now but not so much cutting down on sugar because I've already done that so I don't need to worry about my sugar level anymore but it's more saturated fats and stuff like that so I'm kind of grateful for finding that stuff out before it was too late if you know what I mean to, to be able to reverse the to being on the, on just on the cusp of diabetes to reverse it, so I'm back down to way off of that. And although it's not been easy, because I do have a well, I used to have a, a used to I still do have a sweet tooth. I've managed to. It took effort, and I quite like the fact that it took effort. I don't think I'd have really appreciated it if I'd have took a tablet and lost the weight and got my blood sugar level down. If that's all it took, I don't think I'd have really appreciated the results. I kind of appreciate it more because I've had to work at it and made sacrifices, I guess. And by that, I don't mean... I'm not sacrificing things like on a 
a big slab of concrete or anything. I'm just I'm just gen generally and it's not I'm not in the middle of the woods. Um I'm not a witch. I mean there's nothing wrong with being a witch. But you know, that kind of sacrifice. I used to be a witch years ago. I was also a Roman once. Isn't it weird that I know this isn't even my, it's like, oh, he's not doing original material. Is it? But it's true though, isn't it? You know, anyone ever gets, goes, do, does a reset, um, not recession, what do they call it? They go back in time, they do like a past life uh, thingy, whatever it is. And they find out who they were in the past. You never get anyone to say, oh, I was Jack the Ripper. Do you? Like, oh, no one. You don't let them get anyone like, oh, yeah, I was a poo collector. Yeah, I used to collect poo from people's houses. <laughs> that was my job. Jason Poohhead. That was, that was my surname. Poohhead. Because I used to have poo everywhere. Like no one ever, that, no one ever says that today. It's always like, yeah, I was Napoleon. I was, uh, I do believe I was uh, a Roman emperor. What? You, no. Well, actually, I, I was. Uh, no one comes around and says, yeah, I, uh, I used to paint houses. You know, used to paint houses with, well, he used to be uh, duck poo, and I've got to think about poo, and I, duck poo, because we didn't have paint back then, so it was duck poo, uh, we used to paint houses with that, this is like 900 years ago, it was alright, the problem is, getting the duck poo, where'd you get it from? So, and the thing is that people like moaned, oh, we want, don't want, if, is that the only colour you got? The only colour you got? I said, like, well, no, it's not the only colour. We got cow poo. Like, what colour's that? I said, it's brown. Well, why, why is it brown? Anyway, that's, that's what I was wanting to say. No one's always had to be someone famous or, someone esteemed like a great inventor you know can you imagine like 2000 years time someone going back in time no one's gonna no one's gonna like do a go back do a past life regression or whatever and come back and said yeah I was a podcaster called Jason and I used to talk into the microphone about nothing every day and yeah I had a dog or, oh, because you wouldn't leave the room having paid 50 quid or whatever, like really happy, like, oh, mind you, after that, you'd probably be excited that you weren't me. Like, well, at least I'm not that now. Well, I'm now a poo collector. <laughs> I don't know. Where am I going with this? So, healing Thursday, and then Friday, Q&A Friday. Oops. And then Whisper Wednesday, the Trivia Tuesday. See, so what did I have here? I did have a suggestion, but we already have them Wednesday. Uh, 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 ben. I keep hearing this person called Bidham keeps sending me stuff keeps calling me boss boss uh, your YouTube channel content is good but video very very poor video view very poor you can increase views on your channel if you want well thanks you can see samples of my work and can discuss about channel growth by doing zoom meeting directly thanks boss Oh, the idea of doing Zoom meetings. Ugh. Boss is another one now. That was at 2 o'clock. Now it's 4.34. Boss. Each video can get one 
1.5 or 2,000 views and it and its views will increase every day I mean yeah you can do this for free are you no you're not I can't I mean I do have the old Ben what about roulette Wednesday when you random choose through the let me bore you to sleep and pick it on an episode so I don't know just um it's already got Wednesday, Whisper Wednesday. Does no one like Whisper Wednesday? I like Whisper Wednesday. The thing is, I've got quite a big, well, big audience, quite a lot of my audience in the past liked the Whisper recordings, like above everything else. So the Deep Sleep Whisper podcast was the most popular podcast that I ever had. So I guess I kind of trying to appease, is that the right word? That part of the audience. So by doing a, you know, ASMR, deep, st a whisper, but let me boy to sleep version of that. Maybe it seems to be, I don't know. But then yesterday, I just didn't want to make a recording. I've just because I had the, the day was so busy. Uh, well, I thought about doing one, but I thought, oh, I got so stuck in my head. I've got to give it a name. I've got to give it Sat something Saturday. Uh, I don't know. Sugar Saturday. Uh, what 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 was beginning with S? Sandpaper Saturday. Sandbagging Saturday. Simple Saturday, Supreme Saturday. That's all the S's I know. It's not bad though, is it? It's pretty good. So yeah, I didn't really have. I don't know. What do you think? Is was this a good idea to give names to every day? You know. So the. What is this? Q and A Friday. So that's that's. Oops, I just pressed on that one. Sunday papers. So. Uh -huh. Okay, so Sunday papers is all right. That's a, the Q and A Friday is established. So Sunday papers. Maybe that's what I should have done. Maybe I'd have just introduced one. And establish that over the next three or four months. And then introduce another one, and you know. But Monday's boring objects seems to be fairly popular, kind of. You got the trivia Tuesday, also fairly okay. Whisper Wednesdays, maybe not as popular as the other ones. Ah. Healing Thursday. That one's very close to my heart, actually. So, even if I didn't do a Healing Thursday, I would look to do an equivalent of that. Does that make sense? Um, so, and then Q&A Friday, I'll continue the Q&A Friday. So, I don't know, I don't know. I suppose I could just get on with the actual recording. But why? <laughs> why just trying to think what's coming up this week so I'm going to do this recording then I'm going to I'll edit it in the morning when I wake up I'm probably going to have a pizza because I've got a pizza in the oven I'm going to have a pizza just Sunday in it why not I'll get up tomorrow Probably, I've got a doctor's appointment at the end of the week this week coming and that is a mental health review and I couldn't do it on the phone apparently they wanted to also take my blood pressure and stuff like that it's like a yearly thing so 
even though I just had my blood pressure done two weeks ago. Or last week, two weeks ago, I don't know. Yeah, it was two, well no, it's, it wasn't last week, it was a week before. And what I'm now thinking is to look at doing Right, so I'm doing weights every day. I do exercise. I do like I do these exercises. The first one, so I do it before I go out with him, and I go out with him four times or five times a day. So I do a different exercise with the weights every time, uh, like during the day. I mean, so I do crouch crunches with weights. So I do the crunches with weights. That's more to exercise my lower back and today I've done that then I did uh, bicep curls then I did tricep curls so I've done that so far and then I'll do some um, sh push up uh, with the, the weights or whatever for my shoulders and my back that'll probably be the last one I do today or maybe if I maybe I'll do another one but yeah that's it and what I do at the moment I don't do sets so I don't do 10 have a rest 10 have a rest 10 and that's it I don't do that what I do is I just do as many as I can until it really burns until I'm kind of I don't do it until I can't do it anymore I'm, you know, I'm trying to take it a little bit easier on myself because I did I uh, hurt my back couple of months back 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 that's when I hurt my back a couple of months back and it took a while for that to heal so I don't want to push myself too much I want to just do it gradually light light training and it seems to be working you know I feel feel better for it and then once I've got used to that I'll start to maybe be a bit more intense, but at the same time, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to be grunting, <laughs> you know. I don't, I don't want it like uh, all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not really into that. I'm not, you know. I just if I can burn some calories off, but at the same time, just reshape my body so it's. So I at least look like a human from a distance. That'd be nice. And I've got my exercise bike, which I'm thinking of moving into the living room so I can use it when I watch telly. And maybe use that every day. It is, it's, it's possible. It's possible. But it's a case of just, ew, you know, I, d I don't really enjoy cycling. But if I did that every day for half an hour or an hour, let's say, I, mean, I could do it for half an hour easy now. But if I kind of built up to cycling for an hour every day, then like, not super strenuously, but definitely some kind of out of breath and that that will improve my health quite a bit and I may also burn off some calories and get rid of some of that saturated fatty cholesterol stuff or whatever so yeah that's just so, so that's, you know that's what I'm planning to do with the diet I need to be looking at what I'm going to do with that so that's something I need to do a little bit of research into what I can I kind of know what I can eat um, so yeah I just, just need to look into it I'm not sure quite what I'm going to there's a degree of laziness if I'm honest and you know, processed food is kind of out the window. 
that you're having a pizza. Yeah, but not every day. And not three times a day. So... We'll just have to wait. I'll just figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll tell you about it probably because I always do, don't I? Maybe I'll look into getting some food in, some shopping in tomorrow. And starting it. Or maybe I'll wait till Wednesday. I'll probably wait till Wednesday to be fair. And then I will... No, that's the wrong thing. Some of these apps... Are, honestly, some of these apps, I get into them and then they just won't let me out. No, I want to get out. Stop it. I'm on the iPad. I'm not in the app, but it won't let me out. Why won't you let me out of the app? It's keeping me hostage. I noticed that with the... Okay, right. Oh, good. Blimey, what the heck's that? Old oh, Trivia Tuesday. Huh. October birthdays are coming up. I don't know anyone who's got a birthday in October. No. I did get a lovely comment from... Christine... On the Healing Thursday. So thank you for Christine for this. I need to comment and put a thank you. A reply. That was very special. It was uplifting and touching. The story of your friend was personal, honest and real. It has changed my perspective of illness and recovery. In a good way. Thank you. Oh thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Um. Oh. Oh, it's okay. Um, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Let me just turn this volume down. Volume down? Volume down. Where's the volume? Okay. So. Ah. I don't know what this is. It's like a. Benidorm, oh, okay. Oh, Benidorm. There's just people in Benidorm riding on a um, a bull, like one of those mechanical bulls, and it's on uh, YouTube. Yeah. Well, is it nice weather in Benidorm? Is it this time of year? It's, it's yeah, it's fairly nice here. It's not warm. But it's, it's not like cold. It's cool. Oh, okay. Um, what was that? Bit? Oh, yeah. So, got this. I was on my phone and I wanted to use Google Maps because I've been looking for a martial arts club to join. And I can't find anything close by. It's really... What, you want to know when I'm going to start reading the, the newspapers? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't have the answer to that. I... Because for me... I don't, I don't personally... I enjoy like going to the gym. I like doing a bit of weights when I'm at home, getting stronger and stuff like that. That's good. But for me, as far as exercise goes, I'd much rather do it as a sport, but in a like a fighting sport, like boxing or karate, taekwondo, wing chun the various different things I've done over the years but now starting to think well I want to do something that will be good for my fitness but also something that will be good for my confidence as well plus is it, there's one an achievement that I've not matched I've not managed to get and that's a black belt 
I've done various different martial arts over the years and you know if I'm honest I don't feel particularly being good at any of them but I used to enjoy doing it I never got my black belt I think I managed I got four gradings in one so I kind of got maybe halfway there so but I don't know if I could do the kicking anymore because I thought I could go back to um, Taekwondo but I'd have to I think I'd start at white belt again or start at no belt because I've not done it for a long time but then will the kicking still be a problem because even though I'm potentially stronger now than I was back then like my back rather because I've done exercises on my lower back because that was the problem I had back then because I didn't know I had arthritis I'm also 10 years older and I genuinely genuinely don't know if I could yeah I don't know if yeah I don't know if it'd be the right thing for me to do and also going back mm, I think I'd be a little bit embarrassed to go back mind you all the kids are probably now be driving around in cars and have their own kids now probably by now and there'll be a couple of adults that are still there uh, the, the instructor's still there and the assistant instructor's still there one's a fifth down black belt and the other one's a fourth down I mean if I remember rightly the one that's a fourth down was he wasn't even a black belt when I first started I think he got his black belt while I was there. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure. So, one of the things I liked about that place is there were people with black belts that weren't super fit, super slim, super young. They, you know, Taekwondo kind of it it catered for all types of people so there were people there that are much older than me the instructor was a lot older than me well probably at 10 years I wasn't a lot older than me but probably over 10 years older than me so he'd kind of be my age now no he'd be he'd be <laughs> he'd probably be my age back then that I am that he was but I wasn't because I was younger so I was 44 he was probably early 50s because I think he started when he was 40 and that I find that quite motivating because I mean in a way I didn't feel like I was starting but you know because I've done other stuff before but what I've always tried to have is when I start a new thing, whether it's when I was doing Wing Chun, uh, Taekwondo or boxing, even though I've done previous things, I always took on the, always took it as like learning it for the first time, even though the, a lot of the, the things with Taekwondo is very similar to karate. And the, I'd done some kickboxing when I was at school and of course that's very similar the kicks are very similar to karate or taekwondo the, the punching's the same as boxing and then doing Wing Chun again similar thing with kicks so it's kind of I like the uh, I guess I quite like starting things yeah, I think I can definitely argue I do like starting things. So maybe that's why I can't like building websites because it's like a new thing. Or maybe that's why I like making a recording because it's, it's never really... It's kind of like a continuation, but it's not really, is it? Kind of. Do you know what I mean? 
It's not not really a continuation, but it is. But each recording stand on its side stands on its own. However, it's separate. I know it's <laughs> it stands on its own and it stands on its own. No, it stands on its own and it's also you know shares like the continuation continuity. I think the correct word is so I don't know I'm thinking jujitsu because I had a bad experience learning jujitsu before I went to two or three lessons when I was we're talking probably 2006 2005 time and the instructor was he was a bit of a bully to be honest there was only two students and it was on a Saturday class and he just basically was throwing us all around and he was enjoying it he enjoyed sort of hurting us and I didn't I didn't enjoy that myself didn't like it now I know that part of Jiu Jitsu is or any martial arts you know there's chances of you know getting hurt stuff which is fine but I don't want someone to purposely try to try to do it and that's what he was doing and it's yeah and also wherever I go now because you know I'm realistic I'm because of my age I need to take things a little bit easier I need to be a bit more gentle with myself not just mentally and emotionally but also physically you know I couldn't just like I'm gonna run go running for an hour no I can't just do that without potentially well without warming up anyway I could attempt to do an hour running realistically it ain't gonna happen without you know quite a lot of training you can hear that that's my tummy wummy my tummy wummy I'm hungry what could I eat thing is do you know in the past I always had stuff to eat when, my, when I had little grumbles of the tummy I have a biscuit that would tide me over to a din din's but nope I used to go there was times when I'd go in the fridge and it was just chocolate and cakes I had a cupboard full of chocolate <laughs> I did have I actually had a cake cake cupboard uh, that was before Vinny so before Vinny that was my cake cupboard now his food goes in there but I used to have so much stuff and it'd just be it'd just be nice just to have a couple of sponge cakes like little ones you know and or maybe a chocolate roll thing or Anyway, that's not helping me, is it? Oh, cookies. Oh, cookies. Especially like Smarties cookies. Oh. oh chocolate brownies. Oh, yeah. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So, I can't have that because I don't, I don't even have any biscuits. Not even a biscuit. Not even a cream cracker. Nothing. There's nothing. Well, a banana. I do have a banana. Yeah, I could eat a banana. And that would probably tide me over. So I might, if my stomach keeps... Then I might go and get myself a banana. But Vinny seems very comfortable right now. He's lying down. He's. I think he might have fallen asleep. So my question is, uh, oh yeah, I was I was using Google Maps because I was looking for a martial arts place, and every time I look at a place and I think, okay, 
I then want to search on Google Maps to see how far it is. And I kept getting stuck in Google Maps. And I was trying to go back to the website I was on and it wouldn't let me back. And I just, why? So if I put put in, um, what is it? Jeet, not Jeet Kune Do. I used to do Jeet Kune Do. But that was part of the Wing Chun. It it wasn't, I mean, it was a different, um, it was a different evening, you know. Because I used to go to this, uh, Master Wong, he was, that's it, that was really his name. Master Wong, he was, uh, or Sif, no, see, it was Master. He had this huge hall, which was, went to big, big, big place, really tall. I'm talking, I don't know how it managed to be so tall. And we used to train there, and it was, he had this all like, Sell sold stuff places to to change and it was like really really nice place and he did Wing Chun he, he trained in Wing Chun but he also trained in Jeet Kune Do as well which was Bruce Lee's style of Kung Fu which he adapted from Wing Chun and other few other things as well and I think he also taught like uh butterfly knife fighting and stuff like that which I never got into Jeet Kune Do near me right apparently it's near me and I live in Bath or Bristol <sighs> dear, dear. Jeet Kune Do New Zealand ok <gasps> did I just tell you where I live all these years you thought I was in England. No, New Zealand. I live in New Zealand. Apparently it's the same kind of weather as what we have here. I find it hard to believe. I find it hard to believe that anywhere has this kind of weather. Black belt. Ooh. What's this one? I just found one that might be looking for Jun Fang Gung Fu. JKD classes uh, timetable okay timetable Tuesdays 18 okay 6 to 7 Wednesday SSG can do also do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu 8 to 9 Jeet uh, can do Thursdays, six to seven. But where is it? Classes. Let's have a look at the classes. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Jeet can do. Okay, right. I'm still thinking Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Gracie Brothers, very, very, very funny. Oh, funny, famous, I mean. Blimey. Don't tell him I said funny. I don't want him to put me in a headlock. Are you searching for martial arts in a form of self-defense where size doesn't matter? I'm looking for a girlfriend where size doesn't matter. I'd like to date, but yeah. Why would size matter when it comes to doing... Oh, they mean physical strength and stuff like height in that okay then Brazilian Jiu Jitsu classes at Lawrence what where is it though where is it that's what I need to know and why haven't I talked about the news yet I don't know where is it see okay let's right so what I'm going to do now, is, let's see if this happens now. I'm going to do directions because they're mapping there. Directions, okay. Google Maps. Directions from Kentucky Drive, Mississippi. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Wow. So, oh, it's not that far. It's 17 miles. No, 17 minutes in a car. 17 minutes in a car. How long would it take to, to walk, do you reckon? Uh huh. What's that going? What's you, what are you doing that for? Ah. Okay. London. Right. I don't think walking is even an issue, to be fair. Three hours and 27 minutes. 17 minutes in a car. Three hours and 27 minutes walking. Which makes me think that it's a motorway. Yes, it is. It's a motorway journey. So if that was in a normal road, it would take a lot longer than that. It's 11.1 .1 miles. Uh, because I'm going to have to get a taxi, you see. That's why I'm like, I don't know how I'm going to get there otherwise. The buses, let's so say if I look at the bus route. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, there's no no buses go anywhere near it. Uh, according to this, there's two buses, but still, you got to walk, and you get a bus, then you get another bus, and then you walk in. Uh, so yeah, it's not not. It's yeah. I suppose. I wonder if it's near anything. So I'm trying to think. I mean, it's it's possible. Okay, right. Let's go back. Oh, that's right. It didn't take me out on the phone. It takes me out, but on the I iPad, it doesn't. It just opens up a new page. So that's what I'm kind of looking at. Maybe doing jujitsu because then I can gain my black belt. Because that, that's in my, I don't want to use the word bucket list, really. But it's kind of, that is something that I've, something I dreamt about since I was a child. Since I was, you know, like, a little kid really even before I even started doing karate at 13 or 12 or whatever I was 13 probably so even before I started doing karate I dreamt of being like a black belt because you know I'd watch Enter the Dragon and I'd see these black belts and I wanted to be like that and um, and I asked to go to karate and my dad wouldn't let me when I was young, when I was like 10, 9, 10, whatever, and he wouldn't. He said, no, no. So I didn't have a chance to do it when I was little. But as soon as I was old enough to pay for it myself, I my, you know, had a paper round, I didn't have to ask any permission because I was paying for it. So just, yeah. It's a shame because I might have... But to, to to be honest, though, I don't like being honest, as you know. To be, I think it would have been there was no karate club that would have taken me as a kid in our town, but there was one in the next town. But when I was ten, I would have had to be taken there. So I think. Maybe 11, maybe I was able to do 11, uh, 11, but it was 11 or 12 was the, the age you had to be to do karate. In, yeah. And then I, ch I, ch I changed that. Did I tell you that? God, the changes I've made to the planet. The difference. The difference I've made. So, this is totally true. I know a lot of stuff I could talk about is... You know, 99.3% of what I say is lies, obviously, but 
this is true just like everyone everything else I say as well this is true and my little brother was eight years younger than me so I was doing karate when I was started when I was 13 how old does that make him then when I was 13 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 5 he's 5 years old I wanted to I started teaching him karate when he was 5 and 6 and 7 so we did it we used to play around and so at 5 so let's say 2013 or maybe it was when I was 14 13, 14 no I was probably still 13 so we're probably looking at 1984 so I was 13 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 so it was 5 5 and a half maybe so he I was teaching him a little bit of like you know kicking and punching and stuff like that just just for fun you know because I was really into it honestly on, on, honestly it's an understatement just to tell you that it was my entire life it was everything I was fanatical <clears throat> <clears throat> fanatical <clears throat> it's weird whenever I say the word fanatical <clears throat> that happens perhaps I just stopped saying it so I was quite interested and I taught him a few moves I was in no position to teach anyone anything I never have been but it hasn't stopped me so I there was this point where he now I don't know if this is in the correct order but there was a group of kids all around in the alleyway they're all like my brother's age somewhat older and this older kid was picking on my little brother and my little brother kicked him and punched him and put him on the floor and he was crying now this this kid was probably two years older than my brother trying to bully him yeah so it was it was quite good so no I'm not I'm, violence is horrible but it he never got bullied the whole of his life you know he, he didn't get bullied because he just he had a he had that confidence but not just from what I taught him, but also probably having three older brothers, probably having like a big strong father, perhaps I don't know. And he's he's quite my little brother's quite big. He's like not not like me, not fat, but he's like bigger, muscular, and he sort of took, takes after my dad, I guess. I take after my mum with the boobs. And he, <laughs> the beard, uh, he, <laughs> anyway, what I did is I went to my instructor, my karate instructor, Paul, his name was, he still is. I love that man. Honestly, I really, really looked up to him. I mean, I, he was six foot seven, so I had no choice, but he was the coolest dude on the planet and I kept saying to him can you do karate for younger kids and he kept saying but you're already here I said no not for me it's not for me he said but you, unless you get a, get a time machine it's not going to help you is it I said it's not for me I said to my little brother he said how old is he I said he hasn't been born yet he said well let's just come back when he's born so I went back and he's how old is he now I said five he said oh, really I said well we I think I said no he's six now I think he's turned six he said all right 
all right, all right then. If he's six, he can come along. But what he said is what we'll do, because I, I went on and on and on at him for months until he gave up. Like, not in a horrible way, not because I was too scared to, <laughs> to to be too demanding. But I kept sort of going, oh, my brother would love to do this. And he said, okay, well, what we'll do, we'll do a Saturday morning class. He said, I'll be wanting to do a Saturday morning class for the adults anyway, because we can do a bit of extra training and preparation for gradings and also for uh, competitions and things like that. Plus, some people struggle to get here in the evenings, so we're going to have a we're going to put on a a weekly class on a Saturday morning, as well as the two you know Tuesday and Thursday evenings. I said, okay, that's a lot of information. Can you just get to the point, please? And because that's how I would talk to him. <laughs> no. I said that from a, with a loudspeaker when I was in a helicopter because I wouldn't want to be, I'd have to leave the country. So he said, what you can do, you can be at the back of the group, the back of the hall, and you can teach the kids the basics. So the little kids being, because I was, what, probably 14 by then, you can teach the your little brother and any other kids that could come along. So I promoted it. I promoted it. They put me like, come on, you know, tell me, telling everyone in the club that we're now going to teach little kids as well. And telling the parents, you know, sort of. And I, I'm not sure what I did, but I was very invested in it because it, I knew it wasn't going to work if just my little brother was there. So I think I got some of my little brother's friends to come along. And it grew from there. So I started off, I was teaching them just the very basics, you know, kicks and punches and stuff like that. And then... I don't... I can't remember the exact thing. Oh, my brother didn't want to do it anymore. That's it. He didn't want to do it anymore. He got he got fed up with it. But by that point, there was another 10 or 12 kids that loved it. And I said, this was back in 1984, 85, 84, maybe 85 to be fair, it might be in 85, 84, something like that. I can't remember the exact date. Now, I thought, oh, if it's, you know, being ego central, eccentric, whatever, I thought, oh, if my brother stopped going, it'd stop it. Well, no. We started it for my brother. We started it for me, you know, to, I started it and I got it started and obviously with the, with the boss who is the, you know, the instructor, but it didn't need my little brother anymore and it didn't need me either because all I was doing was helping with the basics. I was like a green belt. I, I didn't, I wasn't an instructor, but they didn't need an instructor because it was low little kids. And then when I got a job in the chip shop, I kind of stopped going to karate. Before that, I kind of, I did lose a little bit of interest because there was quite a lot going on at home and like things weren't, things weren't going so well, you know, just generally. And um, when I was, it was like coming up to the end of my schooling and um, I was more interested in misbehaving really, to be honest, you know, hanging around my friends, doing things I shouldn't do, you know, just being a teenager, I guess. So I wasn't so focused on the karate 
for a little while and then I got that job in a chip shop and then I didn't have my evenings free anymore which was my my decision it was my decision and I used to see the instructor every now and then in the supermarket and he'd say to me when are you coming back he said it to me for years when are you coming back I said soon sir I'll be there soon I promise uh, never did never went back but now we have decades they are, they are now literally middle aged men and women that were uh, when I'm my, what, my brother's 46 now there are kids like nearly 50 well not 50 not, not kids are they but people now ki people humans now nearly 50 years old who started there doing their karate whether they've kept it up I don't know still the same instructor he's got to be about 103 I'm sure he must have been in his 30s when I was there. So what does that make? Yeah, I don't know how much how I was. So, mind you, he's probably in his 70s. But you imagine how fit he is, though. He's... Amazing. But yeah, so there's generations of people that come through starting at a young age you know like five or six that, that could never do it before they'd have to go into this to a different town which was because I lived in this little town it was really quite isolated unless you had a car so yeah I felt, I felt quite good about that it was like oh how many people's lives were affected in a positive way because of my little brother and me nagging the t the instructor. Oh, please, my little brother wants to train. He's too young. He wants to train. He's too young. He's only two months old. He wants to train. And my little brother wasn't as enthusiastic as I was about him going. But. I don't know, I just, I just suppose I wanted to inc include him. I was pretty close to him. I suppose I wanted to give him what I didn't have a chance to do. to Because do, I was there, even though I was still young, didn't feel young back then. So even though I was 14 or whatever, I kind of felt that I'd missed out on doing it when I was younger. Wish I'd started when I was eight. I'd be a black belt by now was kind of my thinking and it would have changed the way that you know, I just had a different life just generally had a different childhood from that during those years not that I had really much to worry about but just like as far as you know protecting myself I was fairly okay didn't have a huge huge amount of problems but it's just it would have been I'd have had more confidence I didn't have I didn't have any confidence really when I was a kid I, was, I had a bit more when I started doing karate but yeah not when I was sort of 8 or 9 or 10 or 11 or 12 I was I was cheeky but confidence uh, perhaps I'd have pretend to be confident maybe I mean, there's a difference between not caring and being confident I guess I don't know so I'm not sure it's Jeet Kune Do Brazilian Jiu Jitsu so I'm thinking maybe there must be a I want to go to if I want to go to a place I'd like to go somewhere that was close to where I live now Jeet Kune Do no uh, what's his name not Jeet Kune Do 
jujitsu, jujitsu. So there's another one called it's a very so you've got jujitsu and you've got the the Israel Army do a, a special martial arts. It's not jujitsu, it's um Mag Krav Krav Maga Mag Krava Krav Maga and it's like unarmed and it's one of the most uh, supposed to be one of the most <laughs> effective um, I went to a lesson once and the instructor had one ear and I, I and I'm like oh and they were teaching you how to like you, you know cause you used to grab people's ears and stuff as far as sort of defence and I, I just I don't know I'm a bit attached to mine I just I wasn't sure it was it was fun but at the same time it was it was the real deal if, if you know what I mean it was yeah my, my stepbrother got into that for a while Here's a weird thing. We, I went to, when I did Wing Chun, my stepbrother turned up. He was there like, what's, he didn't know I was doing it. I didn't know he was interested in it. We both ended up being in the same training. And he didn't even live in that town. What's the chances? And uh, Jinju Jitsu website. I also wanna I wanna train with someone that's overweight because <laughs> because it's a little bit annoying if you go training and everyone's super fit and slim and I wanna I wanna do a chubby version of Jiu Jitsu Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Train with world champions. Really? Blimey. View membership. Our facilities. Online parking. Quality mats. That's good. I can't, it's one thing that used to annoy me. Go to a martial arts place and the mats are just such bad quality. <laughs> you know, little bits of fabric hanging out. Um... Okay, this is our class schedule or schedule Monday. What? Oh my goodness. They have classes during the day. They have classes during the day, baby. No. That's perfect for me because I don't want to go out in the evening. What? All oh, right, here we go. Where are they? Where are they based? They're probably based in London or something. Nowhere near. They're not even that far away. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, puppies and kittens. I do believe we have found the one. And I've been searching for about two weeks. I'll be going online, keep going through all the bits and bobs like, no, I like this, but I'm not sure about that part of it. And I'm, or some are like just so expensive. This looks like I can get there by bus. I might have to get a taxi home, but I can get there by bus. So it's only a taxi one way. Some other places are so far away from anything. I have to get a taxi there. And so Enzo Jiu Jitsu called Ping Pong Jiu Jitsu Elmstead Jiu Jitsu Wing Wong. 
So where am I? Okay. So I wonder if I can do... Uh, okay. See, there's a map here, but it's not giving me a chance to... Two things to... Oh, uh, I'm semi-excited. I'm going to remember the name. Go. Membership, okay. It, I know where it is now, so even if it is... Oh, okay. <laughs> I wonder if I can get student rates. Because technically, well, not technically, I am a student now, aren't I? But I'm not, I'm a part-time student, so I don't know if I can get... I'll ask them. I'll ask them. So... Unlimited access to classes. Kids, nope pay they've got like they've got a special they've got adult monthly then they've got blue lights so that's emergency services or armed forces that's a discount students and teens so I am a student I'm not a teen it's been a little while since I was a teen but I'm a student I mean technically aren't I I'm doing a degree course I've got a student loan I'm going to a, a worldwide official respected university I mean, it's, it is online it's open university it used to be what do they call it distance learning because it used to be like you know they'd send you the stuff in the post well they they did send me a book pay single pay as you go for a member of another ZR team affiliate. I don't know what that means. ZR team. Pay as you go. Non members, non affiliate members, single session. Kids pay as you go and a beginner's course. Oh, what? Access to beginner's classes for one month on Tuesday and Thursdays at 6.30. And a free gi. But then it says. Um, a certain amount of money per session. Mind you that's for the gi. So. I want to go during the week. Like during the daytime. That's that. That actually does. Appear to me. Like quite a nice idea. It do, it really do. But then it's not saying, okay, oh, blimey, okay. So Monday at 11 a.m. till noon, open mat. So, six to seven. So mixed levels, no gi, 12.30 to 1.30. so I'd have to that's for that's not for beginners is it so that would be ideal but not for beginners under nines five to six well I can't pull off being under nine anymore six p.m. to seven p.m. over nines seven p.m. to nine p.m. no gi mixed levels so I think the beginners is six to seven, and then I suppose once you get below, above um, a gun, once you get above beginner, whatever that level is, maybe first belt, I don't know, and then I'll be going at seven to nine. Oh, I like the idea of going. Yeah, I like the idea of going during the day, but there is the 12.30 to 1.30 once it gets mixed level. So that's Monday. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., that's not good to me. 6 a.m. to 7 a.m., no, I can't get anywhere that time in the morning. Not from here. 
1230 to 130 mix level 630 to 730 all right so the beginners begin the beginners is, is only available to yeah it's only available on a Tuesday beginners and a Thursday so when it said that it meant you can only go Tuesday and Thursday 6.30 to 7.30 Tuesday 6.30 to 7.30 okay again it's not like super late I can get there coming back I have to get a taxi because the buses stop pretty much Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, Saturday. So yeah, so to start with, it'll be Tuesday and Thursday, beginners. So I'd need to really sign up for a beginners course. Then I would. Then I would then be available to do. mixed levels maybe I could just then go to 12 to 1 in the afternoon maybe do that I don't know we'll see what they say so oh I'm proper excited now I've never been more excited so contact does it still I sound excited <laughs> let me have a look so I still got Google Maps open. So let's have a look. I'll paste that. Paste. Yeah, got that. Ooh, right. Nineteen minutes in a car. But there's no motorway yeah there's no motorway oh wait a minute it's saying 21 minutes in a car how can it be 19 minutes or 21 minutes how how it's either 19 minutes or 21 it's saying 9.3 minutes 9.3 miles or 9.6 miles that doesn't make sense to me okay it's saying 19 minutes now it's saying 21 minutes again uh, I think it depends which route you go it's da -da 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 -da. The thing is, I can get there quite easily by bus. Yeah, I can get there fairly easily. So it's just getting into town, town, and then let's have a look. Yeah, get into town, and then go down. Where's that? And then it's it's basically two bus journeys. Two bus journeys. And then it's in a really dodgy part of town. <laughs> oh dear. So uh Ah okay. It's not so bad. I know where it is now. Potentially I could get a train there. But it's still ooh, a fair walk. Like one, two, yeah, still just quite a long way. So it's going to be a taxi. I mean, you never know. I might meet someone that lives here that's going there and like catch a lift back. It's always possible, isn't it? So. It's just one of those things that I live in the middle of... I know mean, it's an old saying, is I live in the middle of nowhere, but literally the middle of 
nowt. There's no buses right now. I couldn't get anywhere unless I the only way I could get anywhere right now walk it or call a taxi. To walk to town would take me over three hours. It's it's a long you know it's a long journey, isn't it? Um, it's forty minutes really, thirty to forty minutes just to the local shops. <laughs> I mean, I know I don't walk particularly fast, so some people could probably do it in 25 minutes. But for me, it's 30, 30, 30 to 40 minutes. If I've got this one, Vinny, it's probably a bit quicker because <laughs> he walks faster than me. So, yeah, this doesn't look like it's going to be a Sunday papers, does it? I think we've kind of uh, I'll be honest with you I'll be very honest in this recording I'm not I don't think I particularly like looking at the newspapers because I'm looking on I'm looking at the papers to try and find some funny stuff or mildly amusing stuff but to get to it I have to sift through a lot of other stuff and yeah, you know what I mean right what I have to do let's have a look let's go into the store let's go in and look readly we a deal why prayer no not press reader readly open so it's there why can't I find it then it's on it's on my desk oh there it is I thought it was green it's not invite friend account information account information Manage subscription. Okay, I don't even know if I'm subscribed. Accept all cookies. Status twenty fifth of the seventh. They gave it to me free. So manage subscription. So there's 6,000 plus available magazines, but that's not 6,000 different, like, publications. It's just 6,000, or maybe it is. No. Is it? But then there's 180 plus newspapers. If you cancel, you lose you'll lose access to your favourite magazines and bookmarks. The thing is, I don't really. Why is it not giving me information? Okay, go to my account. Give one month, get one free. So if I get someone else to join, I'll get a free month myself. Right, so 25th of the 9th. When's it? Okay. So I got it free. So I've not paid anything. I got it free for two months. And then the next payment is due. So if I go and cancel it. Continue to cancel. There we go. Other optional. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Wait. Oh, I made him jump. After your free trial ends, we'll not be able to continue reading and we'll lose access to your downloaded content. Okay. Ooh. See, this is worth remembering, unless you don't know. Or unless you do know. Unless you never knew. It's doing it here. It's giving me the option to save 40% for six months. So instead of twelve pound a month, it's offering me seven seventy nine a month. 
why don't you do that to start with? Just offer me seven seventy nine a month. But if I say yes, they'll lock me into the set to the six months. Oh, I just pressed. Oh no, I just pressed the wrong button. Continue to cancel. Confirm cancel. Your subscription was cancelled. Oh. I think I just don't. I can't be bothered with it really. Yeah, I think Sunday papers is not going to happen. It's just going to just be a me talking really. Because. I mean, it's nice to have the iPad in front of me so I can do a little bit of research like I've just done. Because this looks like it might be my next little journey. As, yeah, jujitsu. So it's actual, it's an actual academy specifically just for jujitsu which is good in itself because it means because you get these places and they did like multiple multiple different um, things that they teach like karate kickboxing uh, jiu-jitsu I don't know kickbox various different things boxing maybe as well Krav Maga and I just I'd rather just go to one place that teaches just one thing somewhere where I can get me black belt eventually I don't know if there's a I think is it is it black belt maybe it's not black belt in Jiu Jitsu yeah it is I don't know how long it takes but see my uncle he passed away unfortunately uh, a couple of years ago he was an instructor jiu jitsu instructor black belt like i didn't even i didn't find out that he was even did that until probably 10 years before that he'd been doing it for, you know pretty much his whole life as far as i know he'd been doing it a long long time because he was an instructor and he'd, he he had to stop probably yeah he hadn't done it for quite a while because of it being unwell but he was it's an instructor so it's really weird all, all those years we had something that we could have talked about like martial arts we could have discussed it but he never I didn't see him very often but he never mentioned it hardly really had a conversation with him yet we had quite a bit in common actually apart from genes and genetics being you know blood relative my dad was a brown belt in judo when he was young and that's the one just below black belt so yeah my brother did martial arts as well my one of my older brothers he was he did it at a more advanced level than me uh, so yeah it's, I'm getting a little bit of excitement going on here I just wonder I have to take it easy I have to be really careful though so the instructors is trained full time for 12 years wow so he's a European champion a world champion blimey European medalist 5 times 14 times national champion What? Blimey. Right, okay. Can't really argue with that. Um, whew. 
so he's so he's the head coach and the net coach down is a third degree black belt he was one of the first to teach and promote Jiu Jitsu in the UK and has been he's oh blimey so two, since 2008 in this town he's awarded over 60 black belts many of whom are world class athletes and the other coach is black belt He's trained since 2015. That's when I stopped. An active competitor is competed over 200 times. Blimey. That's a lot. So you've got an early morning coach, but I won't be going to that. And you've got the kids coach probably what I need to be honest that's probably about the level I'll be at just need to be treated very gently <laughs> at my elderly age she's trained Jiu Jitsu since 2018 cool um, and then okay so there's a young a young person there she's assistant coach and it's won loads of stuff as well. Blimey. So this seems as if this is possibly where I'm going to be going. World class is what we say, what we offer. World class instructors is uh -huh. world class instructors is a great place to start ok that's about us ok good all our coaches are compet competition proven with their jiu jitsu we offer a personalised approach to our training and therefore welcome all levels from complete beginners to advanced competitors our brand new facilities include a custom layout with raised mats and changing areas with plenty of mat space and well maintained stomach gurgles well maintained amenities so I guess that means somewhere to do a poo there is nowhere better for your jiu-jitsu journey. We are passionate about jiu-jitsu and will provide the highest quality teaching in a positive and supportive environment. So come train with us. Blimey. It's hard to argue with that, you know. That's a really good website. It's really... It's good. And there's parking. <laughs> you can't ask for more than that. that. A lot of these places, like the martial arts places, are on industrial estates. So that's one of the good things. They're usually quite good for parking. That's, that's a definite thing. But it's... I wonder how many people have got going there. Wow. So, membership. I've, I've gone through everything now, haven't I? Or well, go through the gallery. I've not gone to the gallery yet. The gallery. The gallery. So, they're all holding medals and trophies. Competitions, 1st of December 2022 winner. So that is... They got their tapes all taped together. The the fingers taped together. Is that part of the the jujitsu? Blimey. 
see the only I suppose the only concern is can my body take it but then if a little kid can do it then surely I can you know I mean as far as I don't have to push myself any more than needs to be pushed do I just because these young people are doing like 10 somersaults and stuff maybe I'll just stick to 3 somersaults you know what I mean wow or maybe I'll just eat some cake <laughs> just uh, uh, class schedule so yeah all membership so I'll have to sign up if I sign up for the beginners course uh, access to beginners classes for one month there's a proper need to eat I'll be honest with you I'll be very honest today haven't I I'll be honest with you I've been honest mildly honest students and teens okay so what I might do I'd rather visit and have a look because that looks to me like uh, so I guess it's I mean maybe for a beginner's course it's like a separate course and they it it perhaps they have two instructors they might it might be a bit more they have to put a bit more effort into it than people that are coming regularly and I guess they know what to do uh, maybe maybe that's what it is so it's sort of a separate thing uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know Class. I don't know. Uh, okay. So. No ghee mixed. Tuesday beginners. Oh, gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Let's have a look. Who's the. There's name coaches Taylor. Okay, right. He looks different in that picture. You know when people look different. He just looks different. I don't know why. No, he doesn't at all. It's just a smaller picture. <laughs> it's just a smaller one. That so. Right. How do I save this? Save, add to favorites, save, right, I'm not going to forget it, I'm going to leave it open anyway, leave it open, yeah, well that's kind of exciting, don't you think, it's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a summer, I do the right, I know, hit easy, so I'm going to, need very much require myself to go and create some food oh yes <sighs> so tired I'm so tired oh okay just have a look right what's going on 
Oh, it's just let me know that my cancellation for the Readly. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I can always add it on again at another time. But we'll see. We'll see. So for now, you know what I was going to do? I was going to try and go through this week's recordings since last Sunday and edit them and do kind of like a best bits recording I couldn't find any good bits so I just I feel I'm going to give that one a miss I really thought it would just I just you know I did but it just hasn't uh, I might give it another go but then it's so subjective because I don't know what a good bit is what's what's what would what would be classed as a good bit I just I, I, I just don't know what I might try and do maybe maybe just do one long recording of the entire week's stuff so you can just listen to them back to back uh, so it'd be I don't know 10 hours at the end of the week 8, 9, 10 hours whatever of just you know Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday and then just having them all back to back recordings without music and then with music maybe perhaps possibly so that might be something I could do which would be fairly ooh, I'm not sure about easy but it's definitely doable I think I say I think, because I should know, because I do have 10 hour recordings, but it's not particularly easy. Just calm down, Vinny, blimey. Calm down. He's always so fidgety, so like, <gasps> what, 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 what? Calm down, baby, calm down. <laughs> so that's it, I think, for me. I don't know how long I've been talking for about an hour I guess I'm <sighs> oh, tired I didn't even get up early today but just yeah I've had a I've been working on some of the stuff online I was going to say that the website's come along quite nicely now quite a few of the podcasts that I've done that I've got uploaded on there where you can download the all of the recordings for each one you know uh, without music with music five hours ten hours but also when you go onto the page you click on the image of whichever one you, there's the video so you can watch the video on the website or you can go to YouTube if you choose or you can stream the recording without music so it's there for people that haven't heard it they can listen to it see whether or not they want to download it or listen to it on YouTube you know but there are players embedded into the website so I've done that for all of the podcasts except I just started doing it with the let me boy to sleep and I think uh, the Deep Sleep Whisper, I've not done it for either. That's going to take, you know, it'll still be till the end of the year probably before they're completed. But they're getting there. They're getting there eventually. And, yeah, I'm kind of pleased how it's very gradually pr progressing. So I'm going to go. Thank you very much for listening. 
Remember to be kind to yourself because you deserve to be happy. Be gentle with yourself. Be gentle with the words that you say to yourself. And I will be... Oh, Vinny, hello mate. I was yawning now. Uh, I will... Be back again tomorrow. Lots of love.